Good morning, or depending on you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be looking at some beautiful cards, ladies and gentlemen. These were revealed on the official Japanese Pokemon website this morning. They are beyond wonderful, and they're very, 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 very strange. They are based around a very famous old painting, although actually calling it an old painting would be doing it somewhat of a disservice. Now, they were actually made by Edvard Munch, and I apologise for the pronunciation here, and it wasn't really a painting, it was a series of works, two paintings, and two pastel drawings. So there's actually four of them. How many people do that? I know, right? Internet research at its finest. So what's happened is, the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum is celebrating, and they are distributing promo cards with, well, let's say mock-ups, homages to the screen. So, you can see that there is the, well, one of the originals on the screen here, and what we actually have is five different versions of it. We have got a Psyduck, water type, 60 HP and all of that. We have got an Eevee, colourless, 60 HP. We've got a Pikachu, lightning type, 60 HP. A Mimikyu, which is a psychic type with 70 HP, which is so weird, right? All the others are like exactly the same. And then Mimikyu comes rocking in just being like, hey boys, got an extra 10 HP? War's on. And then there's a Rowlet Grass Type 60 HP. They've all got the weakness you would expect. So Psyduck is weak to Grass, being a Water Type. And Eevee is weak to Fighting, being a Colorless Type. And Pikachu is weak to Fighting, being a Lightning Type. Mimikyu has no weakness, what with it being all ghostly and such. And Rowlet is weak to Fire, being a Grass Type. Now, what is kind of cool here is, firstly, the no weakness for Mimikyu, and secondly, the Rowlet having a weakness to fire, which honestly is fine. What's annoying is that both Pikachu and Eevee are weak to fighting, meaning either of the Boswell will be getting very easy one-hit KOs, given that they are indeed hitting for 30 and you got a weakness. And actually, Psyduck is not escaping here. Because what we have is 60 HP and a weakness to grass. So either Tapu Bulu or Golisopod that naturally hit for 30 HP will be wrecking you here. Little bit upsetting. But there's not very much that we can do about it. It is what it is. Now, in terms of the HPs, they're all 60 HP bar Mimikyu. 60 HP, we've talked about the weakness. It's not ideal, but do please remember that Professor Adam's lecture is coming in Lost Thunder, which will allow you to search for these 60 HP Pokemon. So that's pretty gosh darn cool. Now, I should mention what it does here, and the translations come around from various places. I saw it on 60 cards, but... Obviously, I checked with David here. And what it does is it confuses both active Pokemon. That, that's what it does. Both active Pokemon are confused. That is to say that if you want to attack, you flip a coin. If heads, the attack works fine. If tails, the attack fails and you take 30 damage. Not ideal. Now, here's the thing, though. You can fuse at the end of your turn, then your opponent's confused going into theirs. That could actually be kind of annoying, especially if you're playing anything other than Mimikyu because it doesn't evolve, you can confuse your opponent on turn one if you can't evolve, then they're confused for their turn, then you evolve, and evolving gets out of confusion. As long as Sea of Emptiness isn't actually in play at the time. If it is in play at the time, whoopsie-daisy. I see Sea of Emptiness is actually Sea of Nothingness. That card sees so little play, I've forgotten the exact name of it. Yowza. So as an attack here, I mean, it's fine. I've seen less useful attacks. Yeah, the confusing yourself is a little bit of a pain, but you can retreat out of it next turn or evolve out of it or whatever. Confusing your opponent, not the worst effect we've ever seen. But I suppose the question we really need to ask here is, are any of them actually playable? Now, for a couple of them, the answer is just a flat no. You see, Mimikyu doesn't evolve. 
Mimikyu is a Pokemon that has no known evolutions. Now, technically speaking, you should never say that a Pokemon doesn't evolve. What you should say is it has no known evolutions. Mimikyu has no known evolutions, but it does have a print from Guardians Rising with Copycat, letting you copy an attack that your opponent used during their last turn. I mean, to go back to Tapu Bulu, you can get a one-hit KO on it using its own attack, or Boswole, etc. So actually... That's kind of cool, but there's no reason to play this Mimikyu. It doesn't evolve. That's a little bit sad. Beautiful, not playable. So I suppose looking at the other ones here, the question we need to ask ourselves, is it better than the alternative? Now for Eevee, it's just a flat out, no brainer, absolute definite no. No, it's not. Because Eevee, we've got the one from Sun and Moon with Energy Evolution, whereby when you attach a basic energy, you get to search your deck for a Pokemon that evolves from Eevee of the same type as the energy you just attached, and then evolve into it. That, that's the one you want, ladies and gentlemen. There is no real reason you'd ever play a different Eevee. To be fair... We are expecting that Eevee to rotate out shortly. And when that Eevee rotates out, that by shortly I mean September 2019, and when that Eevee rotates out, there's maybe an argument for playing this one instead. You never know. But probably not. As for Pikachu, we are going to see in the not-too-distant future by which I mean tomorrow if nothing else happens, I'm going to be showing you a video of some beautiful Pikachu promo cards. So there's something to look forward to. And generally speaking, the Pikachu we want at the moment is the one with Nuzzle. Now, at the moment, we don't have one with Nuzzle, but Japan has had one. We are expecting to have one in the not-too-distant future. The thing with Nuzzle is you can then use Pachirisu to accelerate energy, and then you can use Raichu GX. It does more damage based on how much energy is on the field, so you want the most energy on the field possible, which means you need the Nuzzle Pikachu, so you can use Pachirisu. I should also mention here that there is the new Amolga we looked at the other day, link in the description, and that Amolga lets you search for a Pokemon with Nuzzle, so that's actually really quite cool. So there are good reasons to be playing Nuzzle Pikachu, but then again there might not be a Nuzzle Pikachu. If there isn't, I mean look it's got 60 HP, yes there is a 70 HP Pikachu promo, but then again you can't search that one out with Professor Elm's lecture. So my theory here is, if you're playing a 60 HP Pikachu, doesn't really matter which one it is, and in that situation, maybe you do want to play this one. Obviously, if you're going for the HP, you go to 70 HP, but Professor Elm's lecture says maybe not. In terms of the Rowlet here, we don't have a particularly good Rowlet. Like, there's just no particularly exciting Rowlet. The best Rowlet we have at the moment has 60 HP and does 10 damage for a single energy. There's no real reason to use that Rowlet. There's nothing particularly special about that Rowlet. So actually, I'm definitely playing this Rowlet. As far as I'm concerned, it becomes the best one. Confusion versus 10 damage for one colorless energy. I don't mind that at all, ladies and gentlemen. And then we get to Psyduck here. Now, to be fair, whereas Decidueye GX is seeing play, and Raichu GX is seeing a little bit of play, and a bunch of the evolutions like Glaceon and Sylveon especially are seeing play, no, there's no Golduck that's seeing play at the moment. There just isn't, ladies and gentlemen. There is no Golduck around at the moment that people are actually playing, so we're not clamouring for a Golduck of any description here. Now, in terms of the Psyduck, I mean, what's really funny is that we've got one legal Psyduck at the moment, and the attack is exactly the same. Both active Pokemon are now confused. It's the same attack. Now, it has got 70 HP rather than 60, so it's super simple. If you want the extra HP, you go for the 70 HP Psyduck. If not then you go for this one because you can use Professor Elm's Lecture. To be fair, this one actually has a retreat cost of one rather than two, so it does have a lower retreat cost and can be searched with Professor Elm's Lecture. So almost impossibly, the Rowlet 
and the Psyduck, and at least for the moment, the Pikachu, are legitimately playable. The Mimikyu and the Eevee aren't, right? Let's just get that out of the way before we even begin. I love these cards. They are absolutely beautiful. Now, how you actually go about getting them, there is going to be this beautiful little mini binder you can get. When you buy that, you get the Mimikyu. Otherwise, you go and buy two packs of cards at a Pokemon Center, and you get to choose one out of Rowlet, Eevee, and Psyduck. The Pikachu, we don't know. They haven't announced how Pikachu is going to be released, so you will have to hold tight. Of course, I will let you know when we do. But essentially, they're actually legitimately playable, which is kind of fun, and they're over-the-top wonderful. I love that Pokemon have done this. And I, for one, hope we see a lot more of this in the future. What I will say quickly before we finish, if you look at the cards side by side, you've got the ghost Pokemon haunting Psyduck, and then Psyduck haunting Eevee, Eevee haunting Pikachu, Pikachu haunting Mimikyu, and then Mimikyu haunting Rowlet. I think that's kind of cool they all match up. So that's what they look like, what they do, whether they're good, and how to get them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of those videos that is begging for a comment section. So do please let me know down below what you think about these, which one's your favourite. Let's talk. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all of that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and do make sure you're checking out wassy plays for some transformers tcg action but by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time thank you very much for watching my name is ross and you've been watching ptcg radio